So hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing um, my favorite makeup products. And these are my all-time favorite. And, and if you guys want to see my all-time favorite products, don't forget to keep on watching. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so the first products I'm going to start off with are primers. And first, I'm going to start off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I actually really love this primer potion. This is the only eyeshadow primer I actually have. So I can't really compare it to um, other primers. But I can compare it to concealer. And I feel like it's pretty good. It makes my eyeshadow last a lot longer, I feel like. It's what I use today. And concealer, if you don't have primer potion, concealer works just fine. So don't worry about that. Um, and I really love this eyeshadow primer potion. And then the next primer is the NYX Honey Do Me Up. And I absolutely love this primer. I use it quite a bit. As you can see, it's like, it was up here, but now it's like right there. And this has gold flakes in it, and it comes with like a little spatula. You can see the gold flakes. Um, but I absolutely love this primer. It's an amazing primer. It sticks to my face and it just makes my foundation and everything blend into my skin, which is what I always want. And the next primer I have is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and it looks like this. Or because it gives you like a really pretty glow, and it makes any matte foundation um, radiant, not glowy, but it makes it look a lot better. Like it's not full on matte, if you know what I mean. The dewiness of it is. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see it gives you like a little glow. <laughs> My baby wants to join the party. Say hi everyone, I'm Mocha. Say hi. Mm, my pretty little girl. How you doing? <laughs> She's mad because people are working. Girl. Okay, sit down. Sit right by mommy then. And then the next products I have are foundations. And I have three favorite foundations. So the first one is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Full Coverage Foundation. And I have this in the shade 12 Ivory. Really full coverage. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator because it's like this and it's hard to get product out and like it drips everywhere. And I'm also not a fan of this specific shade because it's a little yellow toned and I'm more peachy, pinky, neutral toned if that makes any sense. Um, but other than that, I love the full coverage of this and it's just an amazing foundation. And then the next foundation I have is the It Cosmetics CC Cream SPF 50 and it's in the shade Fair. I absolutely love this one too. I had the foundation but I did not like the foundation at all. It just doesn't compare to this one and I feel like they had the same coverage so it didn't really make sense to me. But I actually really love this CC cream for it being a CC cream. It's very amazing. And then the last one I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 202. And this foundation is really glowy. And that's what I like about it. And I mixed these all three foundations together today. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, it's pretty glowy. And then the next things I have are concealer. And my favorite all-time concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I have this in the shade Fair. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I absolutely love this concealer. I love the doe foot applicator just because it's so big, and it's just like, just so perfect. Like, it just glides on so easily, and the applicator makes it so much easier to glide on. And I love this. The other concealer that I really like is the NARS Radiant and Creamy. This is not as full coverage. I would say this one's more of a medium coverage. Um, the shade's good. The applicator is just a normal applicator. Um, and yeah. For my beauty blenders, I have a couple. So I have the Real Techniques Body Sponge. This is a gray. And it's so big. And it gets bigger than this one's wet. And it just makes... Um, it's just so much easier to apply because it's so big. So it takes you less time. And it's just a lot easier to apply, in my opinion. And I really like this sponge. And the next one I have is the Real Techniques. It's just a basic sponge. And I use this side for powder. My dog chewed up this side a while ago, so I don't use that side. And then the next 
um, one I have, and I've been using this re recently. This is the Beauty Blender. I mean, no, this is the Real Techniques Complexion. I don't know what it's called, but it'll be in a different video that you guys might see before this. Um, but I absolutely love this thing. I've been using it a lot recently. And I also have my Beauty Blenders, but I haven't tried them yet. So I can't tell you my opinions on them. But this is this. For my eyebrows. And then, so my favorite dip brow is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. This is the shade. And I've used this quite a bit. Well, not like quite a bit. Like, there's still a lot of product left. Don't get me wrong. But like, I've used it a lot. It's what I've been using all the time when I do my eyebrows. And I absolutely love this product. And then the other product I have is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And this is in the shade Taupe as well. And I absolutely love this. This is what I always use to do my eyebrows as well. And then the last product I have is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And this is an amazing clear brow gel. I feel like it's just a basic clear brow gel. But like, I don't know. Like the e.l.f. eye mascara and brow gel works just as good. So you don't need this expensive one. But that's all for my eyebrow products. And the next things I have are powder. And for my translucent powder, I have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I absolutely love this setting powder it's like one of the best and I also love the Maybelline fit me but this is like my all-time favorite powder and I just really love this powder I really recommend it and then for a pressed powder I love the Remmel stay matte and this is in the shade 00 transparent and I hate how cheap the packaging is and how easy it breaks but I absolutely love this I'm not sure if they have different um, shades of this powder but I absolutely love this shade. And it is transparent, translucent, whatever. So I have a couple different palettes. So my first favorite palette is the Urban Decay Born to Run. I just love the packaging of this and how like it just shows different travel locations. Like with a mirror and then you can also fold the mirror back, which I like to do a lot. But I, yeah. So basically these are all the shades in the palette. There's a lot more shimmers, but I feel like the shimmers are beautiful. So I'm gonna um, swatch Guilt Trip, which is this beautiful purple shade. And that's what it looks like. It's just so beautiful. These shimmers are beautiful. And then I'm gonna test Baja for a matte shade. And that matte shade is absolutely gorgeous as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like the shimmers in mattes, I wish, there's a lot more shimmers, which I wish there were more matte colors, but besides that point, this palette's so gorgeous and I recommend it. Um, and then the next palette I have is the Morphe 35B, and apparently this is discontinued, which makes me really sad, because this is my favorite colorful palette, and I used it on my eyes today, and I'm very sad I haven't been using very colorful colorful looks this summer which is kind of sad because school for me starts in a week and a day the palette and this is like one of the most prettiest palettes ever like i love the yellow like the yellow is so stunning like it's a beautiful yellow color and like the orange is so pretty as well and like the purples and blues and all of that stuff this palette is just amazing and i wish they didn't discontinue it but um, they have new packaging too, which is great because this is so plastic and so cheap. Um, and I get better packaging with ColourPop. Sorry, Morphe, but it's true. Um, but I absolutely love this. It's a very pretty palette, and um, if you guys can still find this, definitely get it. And if there's the new palette they came off with, get that because I'm pretty sure it's just as good. But this palette's just so beautiful, and the shimmers in this are beautiful. Like this blue shimmer. Oh. The next palette I have is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill. I haven't used this this much, um, but I want her vault collection. It looks very pretty, but I bet I'll be using this a lot during fall just because of the colors in it. And my palette's pretty dirty, so don't mind that. But these colors are just so gorgeous. And the shimmers are bomb. Like, I'm going to swatch Crab Apple. Firework. So this one's Cran Apple and this one's Firework. Like they're just so creamy. 
like look at those shades like if you guys don't have this palette i really recommend getting it because it's like so amazing it is more expensive for it being a morphe palette morphe's are like 23 this is 38 so it's definitely more expensive but other than that i think it's beautiful and the mattes are beautiful too but i love shimmers so much and these colors are just so beautiful and i love how it has purples and blues in it it just adds like a little pop do you know what i mean and this palette's just beautiful i really recommend it love is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. I have the Too Faced Just the Original palette, but I like this one a lot more just because of the colors in the palette. So I swatched two shades. I swatched Peach Punch and Peach Sangria. Right there. They're just so pigmented and so pretty. And this palette, I just love peach, pal peach colors in general. And this is just like, it screams my, my name. Like to medium is an amazing contour palette. Um, I like how it has three different shades. Um, and there's a different palette that's from deep, dark to deep, I think. I'm not sure what it's called, but there's a deeper palette. I just love all these three shades for contouring. And then they have like a banana powder, which is very cool. Then they have more of like a pale powder, which is this one right here. And they have like a highlight shade, which I don't really see as a highlight shade. Contouring. I really recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in Light. This palette is gorgeous. Like, if you don't have this palette, I feel like you, you don't necessarily need it. The e.l.f. Contour Palette is just as good, but I don't have that anymore. So this is the one I've been using. And it's amazing. But it's a little expensive, but you can get these for cheap at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Nordstrom Rack. Whatever places like those that sell discounted makeup. These are like usually $40. You can get them from $18 to $20. So it's like half off. So I feel like it's a great deal. For my glow kit or like a highlighter palette, I love the Anastasia Glow Kit and Sun Dipped. I really want the other one that has lighter shades, but these colors are just so pretty. These two, Summer and Moonstone, are the ones I use all the time. Um, the, and then the last one I have is a travel palette, which I absolutely love too. And this is the Tarte Hamptons Weekend Contour Palette. It comes with the mirror full back. There's a mirror. It comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. This highlight's too dark for my skin tone. Like, it, like, matches, and it's just, like, a little too dark but i think it's perfect it's a beautiful palette i really recommend this if you're going traveling or anything so those are all the palettes that i really love is eye stuff so these hikari cream pigments are beautiful um you just get them from hikari.com and i have the the shade shine and i also have another one i don't know what happened to it it literally just came in the ipsy the, a day ago or a couple days ago and that's the shadow right there like it's so beautiful i'm not sure how much these are but you should definitely go on their website and check them out because these eyeshadows are just so pretty. And then for glitters, I don't usually use glitters that often, but the ones I have that I really like are the NYX glitters in the trio. I really like these. And also picked up these NYX glitters just in these packets. And these, this color is so pretty. And these glitters are just so amazing. And then my favorite glitter glue is the NYX glitter glue. This is the only glitter glue I have, and I feel like it works really good. My favorite liquid eyeshadows are by Stila and I use this one today this is in Sunset Cove it's just like a pinky color but the Stila liquid eyeshadows are beautiful like right there like if you don't have these you really need them like start out with like the little trio that comes with three and these you'll be obsessed these are so beautiful and then for mascaras my favorite mascara is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara um, yeah, and this is just my favorite mascara, and I love it. I've been using it for forever, but I also love the, the Essence Lash Princess, and I just got this, and it's just so great. Like, these two together are my best friend, so I love these two mascaras. Two bronzer. I have two bronzers. My two favorite bronzers are the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and this is in the shade Light Bronze. This is personally too light for me. I really want a darker shade. It smells so bomb. Um, 
but I absolutely love this bronzer. If you guys don't have this, you really need it. Like, I've almost hit pan on it. Like, I've just used this so much, and I love it to death. And then my second favorite bronzer is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bronzed. And this bronzer I used today with the Physicians Formula one. And this color is just beautiful. Like, if you guys don't have this color or don't have this bronzer, I really recommend it because it's like an amazing bronzer. And I feel like, oh my god, I feel like you really need it. So yeah, I really love those bronzers. For blushes, I have two as well. And I have the Too Faced Pop It On Peach Blush. This blush is absolutely gold. It smells so good and the color is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that color. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it has shimmer in it. And it's like a peachy color. And I just feel like it's so pretty. I love it to death. And then for highlighters, I have one liquid highlighter. And this is the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestral. This is the lightest shade. And this highlighter, oh my gosh. Like, I don't know. Like, like look at that. Like, it's just so pretty. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. But I absolutely love this shade. And then for a cream type of highlighter, I'm not really sure what you call it. This is the ColourPop Flexitarian. And this shade is goals like oof. oof like look at that shade like it's so pretty you can't, can't even see because it, it matches my skin tone because that's how white i am um but this highlighter is an interesting texture and i love this highlighter to death and then my favorite highlighter is the oprah collab with nikki tutorials and this is in glazed donut this is the old packaging by the way It's right there. It's still pretty hard to see. You can't really see it. But those are all of my favorite highlighters and stuff. Like, oof. And then for setting spray and sprays in general, my favorite sprays are the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. This is my favorite. I love this one a lot more than the purple and the pink one. I use this all the time. And then my favorite wa primer water is this Matchbox Photo Film is so cute. So Chill Coconut Primer Water. I love this. I forgot to use it today. And then the next, um, these are setting sprays. So my first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This setting spray is just amazing. Like it will make, make your makeup last. And that's what I always need. And then my second favorite is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is amazing. Like look at how, uh, hi. Look at how much of a fine mist this is. Like it's just amazing, honestly. And then I have brushes. So I have quite a bit of brushes that I use. So the first one I use was for contouring. I love my Morphe M523 brush. It's just like a perfect contouring brush. And then for blush, I use my Wet n Wild contour brush. And I actually use this for blush. Um, I do not contour with this type of brush because I just don't like how it is. And then for highlight, my favorite brush is the Morphe M510. And this brush is just perfect for highlighting. And then I have a lot for eyes. So for more precise blending, I have the Morphe N514 brush. And I have two of these. And these brushes are absolutely just perfect. Like they go in the crease perfectly. Just because of how precise they are. And then for blending, um... I really like the Morphe M518 and the Morphe M441. This is the Morphe M441. It's just a perfect blending brush. And this is the Morphe M518. These fluffy brushes are just amazing. I don't know how many times I can say amazing in this video. And then I also love the Wet n Wild brush too. I also use this for blending. Blush brush that I use for blending as well. And then I have a couple more brushes for blending. I have the Vasanity Concealer Brush, but I use it for blending. And this is the Bella Pro Concealer Brush I also use for blending. And then for foundation slash a concealer brush, I love the Wet n Wild one. And then for blending out concealer and stuff like that, I use the Real Techniques Deluxe deluxe crease brush and it just works amazingly and then for under the eyes i love using the equal tools flat
flat eyeliner brush it just has that perfect like shape to do that with and that for my lid I like to use the morphe m421 and then just for like packing on eyeshadow I like to use this wet n wild brush these don't have names like on them so I can't tell you what they are because I don't remember it. and then I have this one that I use for under my eyes as well and then I have this one that's like a blending brush but it's more it's more compact and then to highlight my inner corner my nose highlight my cupid's bow and my brow bone I use the morphe m431 like it's just like a dome shape it's just like the perfect and for a powder brush my favorite is the elf powder brush and the glue came out of like the actual thing to hold on to so I don't no longer have that but this is my favorite powder brush like it's just amazing. and then for lips I have quite a bit of lip products and for glosses I have so this is not a gloss but this is the ultra beauty juice infused lip oil it's bomb and then for glosses I have a couple I have two that are by Too Faced so I have the lip injection glossy in milkshake and I also have the Too Faced sweet peach oil and this is in Papa Don't Peach. My favorites are the NYX Lingerie Gloss in um, Spirit. And then my other favorite is the Pure Gloss in Birthday Suit. So that's all for my lip glosses. And then for lipsticks, I have five of them. So I have two that are from the Sephora collection. One is just this type of shade. And that's in the shade um, 36. And then another one is in the shade like this. And this one is in the shade 3. And then one of my all-time favorites is the Rimmel London. Oops. And I don't know the shade because my dog chewed off the bottom so I can't see it. And then I love the Too Faced Naked Dolly. It's just so pretty. And then I also love the Pure one in Stripped. Um, and then I have a lip lip liners but this is a lip liner and this is in this is by pure and i don't know the shade but yeah so that is all of the stuff so that is all of the stuff from this makeup um all of my favorite makeup products and if you guys um enjoyed this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and like comment and subscribe if you guys aren't already and these are all my favorite makeup products and i really hope you guys enjoy this video i love you guys so much bye